you're out there filming something, you think your shot is in focus, but then you get home and you try to edit the footage and you realize that it's not in focus anymore. And it's so hard, right? You got that tiny little flippy screen on your camera to gauge the focus. And sometimes it's too small. You can't even see if it's in focus or not. Hi, my name is John Bear. So happy to see your beautiful face. And in this video, I'm gonna give you seven reasons why I personally believe using a monitor for your videography work is worth it. Roll the intro. Welcome back. If you're new here, I'm John Bear, and I talk about how to make professional video for online delivery. If that's something you're into, then uh, hit that subscribe button. Jumping straight in, reason number one for getting a monitor, you can see the movie while you're filming it. Yes, I know, the camera has a tiny little flippy screen that you would normally use. However, that tiny screen is not a good representation of what your final footage is going to look like. When I picked up the monitor and started filming, I realized that the way I approach my composition and framing just changed completely. The experience of filming with a big monitor is that I feel like I'm seeing my movie while I'm filming it, rather than relying on this tiny little screen to just make sure that the shot looks okay. Having the bigger monitor just allows me to spot all the possible mistakes that I might leave in the shot. And because you've got more real estate on your screen, you have more space for your histograms and your RGB parades and vector scopes and everything like that. Reason number two for getting a monitor is that it lets you easily preview your footage with clients. Imagine having to preview the clip for your client on this tiny little flippy screen versus giving them this big monitor that they can look at. Again, it gives them that accurate representation of what the final video will look like and it give, just makes them more happy. It's way better than having to tell your client to squint and look at the tiny little screen. Reason number three is that it allows me to preview my LUT on my monitor while I'm filming. So this lets me see something that looks like the end result while I'm filming it with the proper colors in place. Recently, I started using the Ari Alexa GH5 conversion workflow, which if that sounds too much to you, um, it's, it basically lets me mimic the colors of an Ari Alexa, which is the most commonly used camera in Hollywood. However, the workflow starts when you finished filming and you're back at your editing software. So while you're filming, you have to film in a log profile, meaning that the colors are very grayscale. However, if I have my monitor on, I can easily preview the final colors while filming it. So I'm watching the movie while I'm filming it. This makes it also way better when you've got clients that you're previewing the footage for. Imagine showing them the grayscale image and then having to explain to them that the colors will come later and they just have to take your word for it. Reason number four is you can easily see the monitor in bright sunlight. The monitor that I'm using right now is the Free World LUT 7, which is one of the brightest monitors I could find. It's bright at like 2,200 nits, which uh, means that using it outside in bright daylight is super easy barely an inconvenience. Without a monitor, using the tiny little flippy screen, it's practically impossible to see if it's bright outside. So I would have to use the viewfinder of my camera to preview and shoot everything. Reason number five to get a monitor is to nail the focus. I mentioned this briefly in the intro, but nailing the focus on a small little flippy screen can be quite tough because everything is sort of squished together and sometimes it looks like something's in focus, but it really isn't. This happened to me all the time before, where I would go out and film something, and th then I wouldn't even know that it's out of focus until I finish rendering my file. By then, it's impossible to go back and reshoot the clips. With a monitor, not only do I have a bigger space to see when I'm focusing, but also when I'm previewing the file, it gives me another opportunity to spot out of focus mistakes. This is especially important if you're filming wide open with a fast lens, because the difference between out of focus and in focus is like a tiny little turn of the focus wheel, right? So being able to fine tune your focus just perfectly is so important. Reason number six to get a big monitor is you build huge biceps. <laughs> I know, like adding a big monitor to your camera, it's quite heavy actually and uh, Walking around with this all day, it is, it is heavy and it does become tiring on your arms. But rather than seeing it as a downside, look at the positives. You know, you're getting a good physical workout. Reason number seven is you look really professional. This might sound like another joke reason, but I am dead serious about this. When you show up to a paid gig and you look professional, that makes a huge difference for your client. If they pay you a lot of money, 
then they will feel sort of justified in that decision if you play the part, if you look professional. If you show up to a paid gig without a camera monitor and without a camera rig, you look kind of like a tourist with a big DSLR camera. If you ask me, it's very important to distance yourself from the look of an average sort of camera person. You have to sort of be able to elevate yourself to look professional, to show that you know what you're doing. Just imagine most business people, you know, they wear business suits to business meetings. This is sort of like the videography equivalent of that. If you have a monitor and you have a rigged out camera, it just looks more professional, you know? That's your business suit. You might not think this is an important reason, but perception is everything. All right, so those are my seven reasons why I personally decided to pick up a monitor. Uh, I decided before I close off this video, I'm gonna give you four reasons that I found that might be a downside to having a monitor. So here we go. Number one, it's less portable, obviously, because it's a huge thing. Uh, number two, setup will take some time. You know, you got batteries hanging off and cables and all that. Uh, number three, you have more batteries to charge, more stuff that could go wrong. Number four, uh, with added bulk, it becomes harder to film in odd angles. So, you know, tight spaces or low down or whatever, you know, it's just less flexible, I guess. With all of this in mind, obviously I'm not gonna bring my camera monitor out with me when I'm filming my travel films or anything like that. But whenever I'm doing a paid gig, having the camera monitor is absolutely crucial. That's it for this video. Let me know if you learned something. Maybe I've inspired you to pick up a monitor for yourself. The one I'm using is uh, Free World LUT 7. You can find links in the description. Let me know down in the comments, what do you think about monitors? Do you think they're necessary? Maybe not. Maybe they're just a huge expense. Who knows? For the longest time, I didn't want to use a monitor, but now I, I'm relieved that I have one. If you want to see more content on creating professional video, then uh, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.